Hi guys, I hope that you are enjoying your day. I'm just jumping in here to do your daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Shannon and I'm glad to have you. Welcome. Uh, my channel is very serious and sobering with the information that comes across. Uh, so if you are new, just be forewarned. I feel the energy and sometimes it's just really... Um, just hardcore uh just don't take a, a offense because it's just the spirit of Jehovah that is allowing me to feel what he's feeling about a thing okay so we get real life stuff on my channel so anyway if you stay you stay if you don't then this is where you'll click off thanks for checking me out for a moment otherwise welcome if it's your birthday or anniversary or something like that i hope it's fantastic for you all um, there is a daily reading down below for my other channel. Uh, if you did miss that, I will put that down below and please, uh, watch it when you have a chance. It could save you or, uh, a child's life. Um, the information was very sobering today. Uh, as you all know, I do the, the, um, mutable fixed and cardinal sign readings like three days in advance. And then we take each one of those days that came, uh, the cards that came out for those days for each element and we build up on them. And today Today's message was very profound so anyway that's down below if you want to check it out otherwise let's go ahead and just jump in here for this channel for the group of people that will find this video and see what's going on for you all thank you Yehovah for clear to find messages for the 23rd of December rebuke and bind and block every foul demonic wicked dark energy and force that could be related in any way shape or form we tell you that you cannot pass into this realm by Yehovah's name the great Yeshua, our prophecy. I thank you for this day and for the group of people who are finding their way in all uprightness by the true light that shines and not the false light. What do we need to know and understand further about this day that you want to reveal, Yehovah? Reflections is what I'm hearing, and that was really coming out. It was one of the cards that came out on the other channel to look in the mirror. So we have the King of Cups coming out here, and this is trustworthy, compassionate type of energy. This is like love at its finest, people. Um, the King of Cups is uh, very intelligent. This is respected energy in the upright this is somebody who's very compassionate and uh, he knows when and how much or how little to uh communicate by uh the emotion of a thing um this could be a boss this could be you uh love is the highest vibration of them all i need to turn this down a little bit i apologize um, love is the highest vibration of them all and uh, you know the king of cups can represent somebody who is um, holding their emotions in as well maybe they're expressing it maybe they're not for some of you all that could be the case um, we have you know opening your heart and your mind to those around you and right now it is the holidays and a lot of people get real mushy and stuff like that around the holidays and uh we also have some people that are just real emotional. The, the holidays make people just emotional, even in the negative, you know, especially people who are lonely and things like that. Um, that energy could be around, you know, a lot of people uh, at this time. And we need to just be open hearted uh, every day, really. Um, but tis the season, right? Uh, this is manipulation at its finest in the negative. This could be law around some people as well coming out for us this one just jumped out so we have the nine of cups coming out well this is wishes being fulfilled or this is over the top emotional crap <laughs> that's narcissistic and overindulging within something um but if you are in the upright and you are being very trustworthy and you are being respectful and uh, then you will be respected at, you know um this is 
falling in love then. Somebody must be over the top in love with someone. That would be ten cups, and that's beautiful energy then, uh, people. And that really is. And so this is a love of life as well. And some people do have everything that they need, and some people have been stingy and held back and everything else. We have two kings coming out here. The king of pentacles is here as well. This is being generous. And these are bosses then for some people. And um, the, there's collaboration going on. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles in the upright, he's lovely. He will go slow with you. He will open his purse strings. He will be professional. He is very responsible, very practical, very down to earth. He's very successful. And if this is just one person, then it is. This person is very well grounded. Uh, and yet they are very loving. They are very um, cultured in what they do. This is a uh, very much stubborn energy in the negative this is somebody who is jealous in the negative and if somebody's really jealous jealous and uh, greedy uh, and they're very emotional that way then they're manipulative in a very bad way you could have third parties going on don't have to but there's something creative here uh, using your intuition is what's being shown high quality and some type of a work is here as well let's take some of the Hebrew you hope you just pick it please if you're single and you have date choices or something like that, then it, you know, you're collaborating about, you know, who to go out with for a, a get together or something like that. And you got two nice kings here, then um, somebody's got some type of a wish or wish fulfillment where that's concerned or something like that. Um, so, you know, if this is the law, given, if you go watch the other video on my other channel, big, 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 big energies. We had children out there as well. So if this is the law and you are dealing with something that has had third party overindulging energies around it, this goes back to slapping or striking or attacking somebody by the rear uh, with whatever. If these are fathers and you're remarried for some reason, I try to hit energies all kinds of different ways that if it's coming through my spirit, I just give it. Uh, and so if you are married or uh, you've been through a divorce and you're just because right now with the holidays and people are sending their children, uh, you know, trying to figure out what to do with their kids and what day to, to celebrate with other families and in-laws and stuff like that. We, we have uh, energies out here of children or somebody getting slapped or uh, attacked. If there, you know, if there's a hidden person and we did see that, um, on a couple of days, the 24th and the 25th had hidden the man and the woman or the lady and the gentleman was there. And if there's a third party outside cheating going on, there could be an attack. One of the words that came out was a fat lip. So, you know, you do what you want. But we've got, you know, something behind the, the, the back side of the tail, T-A-I-L. And somebody could tell, T-E-L-L, -L, something about an attack. If we've got law enforcement around something, then we do in all of that. All right? Well, we do have people going through that kind of stuff. We also have a scripture coming out here, and, you, and it states that, I will love Jehovah my strength. Jehovah is my rock and my strength, and whom will I trust? My, my buckler and my horn and my salvation and my high tower. We have both towers come out today in that other reading. So... And Jehovah is our high tower. We're told if we run into it, we'll be safe. Uh, the tower is about knowing something, having a paradigm shift, right? It's the eye. Somebody sees something where an attack was or is fixing to take place or something like that. Or you're being shown something. You need to get out of something or away from somebody that you know because third-party energies are around uh, to save yourself because Jehovah's bringing the scripture out for you. Uh, so, you know, he's our buckler and our, our horn of salvation and our high tower. I will call upon Jehovah who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Well, obviously we've got an attack energy here. And if you haven't seared your heart, then Jehovah is telling you how to get out of it. Okay? Uh, someone who lives on a farm is here. We've been really having that a lot. This King of Pentacles really comes out with that energy a lot. Uh, we have a mound or a pile or a, a tomb is here. Okay, well, obviously if something's happened, somebody died, somebody's trying to hide it, uh, and something's happened where some type of an attack occurred around drinks or overindulging energy, then there you go. It's there. 
The only way out is to face the truth and run into the Tower of Knowledge and uh, tell tell what you know about the attack or something like that. Yeah, well, what do you want to bring out here, please, about this energy? Show me what's known about this, please. Show me what's known, please, about this energy. Something very much emotional. We got two earth cards and two uh, water cards and water will pull on, pour on the earth and make something grow but how, what is what is growing from this energy uh, we got four pentacles really here and the four pentacles is greed and somebody holding on to information possibly so what's known as the queen of pentacles we have two kings and a queen in a match. And the queen of pentacles came out for today's date. And uh, somebody plays both sides of something for some of you all. Okay. If you're in the law and that's your job and you're trying to figure out some information, then you are. We got pregnancy issues going on for some of you all. The queen of pentacles is just as loving and caring and responsible and practical as the king of pentacles. But in the negative, she's very stubborn. And she actually had a little chest of money today. And it had um, three stingers on that chest. Okay, so whatever that means for any given person, here's another king at the bottom of the deck and somebody is playing chess. <laughs> uh, this is strategizing stuff here. If this is the law on this queen of pentacles or the queen of pentacles is a part of the group where law is concerned and whatever part is being played or whatever is up here. We have third party energies, but we have three kings and a queen. Uh, as somebody's going to try to figure out and strategize something, and that's what it's showing. The King of Swords is, um, in the negative, he's in debauchery. Okay, obviously we got an attack here. Um, this is the law. This is a surgeon, a lawyer, a judge. Uh, your ex, this could be, a, a, like I said, a divorcee is here. If we got in-laws or family around something, then we do. We are having kings and uh, queen energy. So, um, that's bosses coming out here. What, what, what is hidden here, please? You know, what's hidden here? For some of you all, there's a baby that's hidden. Somebody's been real stingy within something here. There's been games that have been played and people have just been listening uh, while a game has been played of some sort, maybe with children, I'm not sure, with adults possibly. So the magician is here and what's hidden, communication. Um, somebody who has everything they need to do something. So this king of pentacles represents somebody who paid somebody off to go do something. There's a tomb here, people. We had the death of our energy today. This is manipulation in its finest then. This is very skilled energy. If this is a surgeon here around this uh, queen of pentacles, um, then that's what that is because this is a physician as well. Uh, this is the aleph head. Okay, this is somebody who leads clans of people or gets up and speaks. We have a lot of energy that came out today where group Oops. We're connected to some stuff here. So the hermit is here. Both these energies are physician energies in the deck. That's really interesting. Something is very dirty. Uh, this is the tet. The, this is trying to store somebody up and put them down in clay. Well, we got a tomb here. Okay. We have some type of, of a grain or dirt or a pile or a mound here. And the tet represents that. And something's hidden here about a death then. Uh, obviously, uh, where children are concerned, probably for, for the most part, and maybe not for everybody. Maybe it is a, a king or a queen that is um, that's dead for some people. Um, somebody got paid off to do something. I feel um, this is a judgment that's also hidden, which Jehovah said the next three days there would be a judgment that would be made. Okay, the hermit can represent somebody who is. Uh, 
uh, in disguise around someone. So if this key of cups is the law, then it is the law. We have the law here. His sword is down and uh, he's listening. They're strategizing here, okay? There's somebody very skilled in the hidden place, okay? And uh, there's also something being spoken uh, where there's healing going on as well because uh, Jehovah's putting a judgment on a thing. So the word that's in the hidden here with the aleph head and the tet goes back to a, a, a corral. Well, we have somebody who lives on a farm here, okay? We also have gentle energy as well. Okay, but this is the idea that one that is, um, it's stating here the idea that one that can be rough and harsh but acts in a gentle matter, manner. Well, we've got somebody who's a manipulator here, people. We do. And so somebody is in the secret acting like they're all nice and gentle, and they're not. They are, uh, you know, if we're looking at the ox head and it's giving reference to that, a big old bull is being bullied right now, obviously, because Jehovah said so. But a bull is not gentle, okay? And somebody is a charmer here because the word is a charmer, and that's the magician card right there as well. And they're secretive about the way they're charming somebody. There's a disguise here, people, in the hidden. Um... In leadership, I'm going to call it leadership because it is it's kings here. And there's a queen around somebody. Or this queen is playing both sides amongst all these kings. And she's uh, doing something for some of you all. And getting some people crowded in. And then she's going to attack. Because the queen of pentacles plays both sides. Whether it be positive or negative, and which side you're playing on that, and if you're undercover, then you're going to the judgment will be made. Jehovah's stating so. He's got secret judgment on these people because he said he was going to bully the bully. <laughs> so there's been a search for an unknown place here as well, and uh, <laughs> how interesting um, because of some type of an attack. There has been a there has been a death. That Jehovah is bringing out here, and uh, somebody could be on either live on a farm, or that person who has died, or there's some kind of secretive, um, manipulative situation that takes place on this farm uh, with magical groups or people that are in occultic uh, affairs, in which we do know that to be the truth. So this energy is coming out here. Somebody's a charmer, and they know what they're doing. They're very skilled, and they're coming across like, oh, and they're going to corral you into something. we got a tomb out here, people. But Jehovah's going to do that to that person, so let them think it'll twist on them just as quick because Jehovah said so. How interesting, because today on the other reading, uh, we had the phonics of a mop. Somebody who might be a cleaner around you, or that's a clue about something. We had the key today, and that is a clue. That is somebody who has a key to your house. That's something that's hidden as well behind closed doors, or that the key would go back to a threshold, or something like that's knowledge. But this word, the other direction, goes to sweep, and a broom is here. How interesting is that, people? That's really interesting. Somebody's very skilled at what they do. Um, and all of that, okay? So somebody who lives on a farm is connected. Maybe your mother lives on a farm. Maybe the person's connected to their father who's lived on a, who lives on a farm, who's connected to the law, possibly. I don't know. Maybe they are a physician or they're working under a physician. For some of you all, that might be the case. For some of you all, it is a housekeeper of a sort, okay? Well, we got energies of an attack here. And somebody's uh, trying to corral somebody in, and they're a charmer and a half. And somebody trying to pour on the charm, uh, you better watch out. I'm, I'm just realizing that there's an ex here. So if somebody's dealing with their ex, and they're that way, then they are that way. They're filthy. There's a dirty energy here. Show me the outcome, Yehovah. Show me the outcome. <laughs> they're not going to get away with it. They're not. We got too much skill out here uh, for the upright shall dwell in the land and uh, the wicked go down to the lower parts of the earth. They think they're skilled, but they're not that skilled. They have no worth. 
Jehovah says not for us to not to shut up until righteousness be filled within the land. And the tomb was open, and there's a resurrection. <laughs> Show me the outcome, Jehovah. Checkmate. Mate. You could be dealing with somebody uh, who says mate all the time or something like that. Hey, mate, or something like that. Maybe they may be in the Navy as well. Uh, the four cups. So, so look, people, we got people around a celebration here. And somebody's a big fat powder. And somebody's being served, but somebody got their arms crossed here. And they need an alignment. And they are, they're just, you know, they're bitter. Somebody bitter here. There, there's seven of cups again. Um, there's a lot of cups out here. There's a choice here in the outcome for today. Well, there's a judgment here. And somebody's trying to corral somebody in to, to attack somebody, but apparently somebody pouting because they know that their time is up. People, they do know that their time is up. <laughs> They're going to get a double cup. They are. They could never out strategize the Holy One. <laughs> you hope, what are you going to bring, bring out here? So we have a snake here. Um, yeah, yeah, so there's space clearing. And it's time to clear the old negative thoughts and feelings away. Yes, and Yehovah said today to do inventory in a very big way. Some people need to clear out people that have been working under you. And they're nothing but big fat charmers. And uh, they work slow. These people work very slow, people. They really, really do. There's the, uh, <laughs> there's the, the um, Hierophant. And the Hierophant also would, you know, in the Zodiac, go back to the Ox energy as well. Was, we're getting it out here as well, really big. Marriage is here. Society is really big today. Um, there is spiritual mentors and teachers and the spirituality. This goes back to the rights to sacrifice. But you don't get to sacrifice people. You're under judgment for that crap uh, in the negative of this card. In the positive of this card, this is... Uh, this is healing stuff. This goes back to hospitals. We got physicians really big out here. One, two, three, four cards that can go back to hospitals and physicians. That's huge, people. Somebody's around somebody that's a freaking manipulator, or either they or they work for you uh, in a doctor's office, or maybe they did it one time, or something like that uh, is going on, or they're a spiritual leader. Uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, this is a great big aha moment to somebody today and somebody knows there's a lot of choices there's confusion here somebody's around somebody that cannot that they're destructive people they're just destructive remember uh this deck talks about the seven of cups being that you can't appease somebody that's why they sit there and pout all the time somebody knows by the end of the day you're going to know about this consequence because there's 11 cups in the outcome that's knowing something that's also a judgment energy there's the snake itself the big fat charmer is here okay well this is somebody who's got addictions okay we got overindulging energy showing out here today people we really do so there's two people showing up here there's two physicians showing up here but one's got a judgment uh, that will be made up on some type of uh, Somebody's got wisdom. And you got wisdom, you catch the snake. You got wisdom, you got the fear of your whole that. Okay, he says that if we don't have any fear, you're, you're foolish. Okay? And somebody um, knows something in a very big way. Uh, yeah, so we've got the, um, the Manaz. Now look, this could be an ophthalmologist. Don't have to be. 
don't have to be. But these, I always point this out. This looks like glasses. And we do have physicians out here or an optometrist or maybe you're going to uh, the doctor today and it's just somebody around you. I I'm not sure. Okay. That, I, you, you're going to have to uh, use your intuition. Okay. But this is the Manaz, which would be the 20th letter. It's the letter M. But it also has the X within it, which is the D in it, uh, which would be the Degas, and it looks like that without the stem. So we have the MD showing up just with this, and we got the physicians in the secret at the same time on this uh, Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck was clarifying this physician or whatever this is. I'm going I'm to call it a physician because the MD is here or somebody needs a doctor because the hospital's here, okay? <laughs> it's huge, people. That's really huge. Anyway, th this goes back to uh, talking about influence. Somebody in the in the public eye, uh, they're very influential. Okay, they um, they could do. Um, um, you know, this is a, somebody is a physician and could be connected to doing commercials for their uh, uh, for their business. Okay, that just got through my spirit. Um, anyway, or you work for somebody like that. I'm not sure, but that's just come through my spirit real quick. Uh, this is a suffered but a legal victory, and this is a, this is a possible betrayal in love. Well, we have somebody just a charmer. They like to get have their little legs spread and get pregnant and do some stuff, or they're pregnant, and they've told three different people that this is your baby or something like that. Also coming through my spirit, somebody's got some type of a charming snake type of a energy around them. They need healing. This goes back to addiction with something here okay the way they see if nothing else if you're not dealing with it obviously somebody needs an MD okay but if nothing else you know maybe they wear glasses maybe that's a big uh, indicator of something here but somebody got some type of an addictions around maybe a physician or somebody who works there this is going to be a legal victory, though, for somebody because of somebody's uh, murderous act or attack or something like that. This is the day. This is the Degas also within that. It's a new cycle. It's also fortune attached to some things. And it's marriage and intrigue thwarted. So if somebody's plotting an attack, then I guess they are. You could also... Um, be a physician who deals with back issues. This is the spine. Now the spine in the Hebrew we know goes back to like counsel and the strong ones that hold uh, you know, the hold the counsel together and stuff like that. We have leadership here people. We really do have leadership showing up. But this is the DHTH which is death energy is really showing up today people better really be crawling crawling out of the tomb and doing their confession and running into the true high tower which is jehovah because he's the only one that can save you all right so either you need to get a spiritual backbone about you or you're screwed it's amazing that we have the magician here which went back to a, a, a enchanter of some kind and this also can go back to enchantment somebody is in an organization that is an enchant is an enchant of some kind and they're a charmer they're in witchcraft whether they know it or not whether they do spells or not that's still spiritual stuff here people um, this goes back to calculations well the hermit is also a big calculator is a very big analyzer here we've got a strategizer right here somebody is uh, acting very skillfully to corral people in okay to their little barn because they're in their farm to, to do some nasty uh, okay so they're petition because uh, there's groups here, people. There's groups with this energy really coming out today. Uh, remember, we had a, um, a fugitive amongst groups as well. It's huge. This also good luck to be gathered before the unexpected dispels it. And that's some of that stuff's already taken place. And some people have done some things and crowd really, really skillfully in and did some nasty uh, to some stuff and to some people. Okay, now they're getting judged. They are getting judged. Um, this is a risk of, um, of weakening for breaking any kind of rules. Well, it's just judgment type of energies that's coming out here. Okay. So, um, we have the T, A, the M, the D, and the, uh, 
the H and the T is here. We have a couple H connections just showing itself out here. This will come out for this reading, y'all. I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. Please keep your eyes open and uh, meditate and look into your own mirror and get some things uh, situated and, and get out of the way. Look, people, if you know some information about some people, you better be careful around them because Jehovah is literally fixing to uh, judge these people real hard to so pick what side you want to be on because the judgment day is here in a very big way to groups of people. The scripture says he puts them all, he's going to put them all in one place and get rid of them just like that. So it's huge. Until next time, shalom.